Hi, I'm Craig. Um, I just finished my GMAT a few weeks ago. I uh, ended up with a 760 overall score with a 48 quant and a 46 verbal section. Um, so a little bit about myself. I do have an engineering degree from about 10 years ago. Uh, so initially when I started thinking I was going to take the GMAT and preparing for the GMAT, I was assuming that the quant section was going to be really, really easy compared to the verbal section and I would need to focus most of my time on the verbal section. Um, what I ended up doing was taking the free GMAT practice test. I recommend everybody do that. It helps you identify your strengths and weaknesses right off the bat at no cost. Um, and when I took that test, I realized I was the, you know, I was completely wrong about what my strengths and weaknesses were in regards to the GMAT. My verbal score was quite high and my quant score was relatively low. So uh, I started looking around, um, trying to find a resource that could help me fill in those knowledge gaps. Um, and I saw the name that kept popping up online, you know, be it GMAT Club or other locations, um, was TTP, Target Test Prep. Um, so I did end up going to their website. I took a look around, saw they offered a, a week free trial and decided to take advantage of that. So um, I, during that five days, I, I did as much as I possibly could. You know, I, I went through a couple chapters in the quant section, did some practice tests and came away satisfied that they had a lot to offer. It's not just in the chapters themselves, but all the huge bank of practice questions and detailed solutions that they have, um, I think are very important for somebody that's looking to improve. Um, so once that free week was up, I did end up going and, and doing a, uh, a paid month. And during that month, you know, I was balancing my full-time job as well. So in the evenings, I was spending a good number of hours each day um, trying to improve my quant skills. Uh, my strategy was to get through all of the chapters that I had identified as weaknesses within the quant section uh, and then start taking practice exams. So I got through those chapters in maybe a week and a half or so and then pivoted to taking custom practice exams. Um, you know, it worked for me. I would suggest, you know, other people try it, although, you know, to each their own. Um, but what I did was I created custom practice tests with the max number of questions in practice mode so that I could see the solution to any question I got wrong. And what I tried to do is keep the question sets all on the hard difficulties um, because, you know, I think that's the easiest way to learn is see the hardest questions of each category and see how to solve them. And the rest will come much more easily. So, you know, for about three weeks, that's what I did. And I was getting towards the end of my uh, one month of TTP and started pivoting a little bit to the verbal section just because I had paid no attention to it since that initial free test. Uh, and I explored a little bit of their uh, critical reasoning um, and also sentence correction questions that they had and was pretty happy to see that, you know, I could create practice tests for the verbal section just like I was doing for the quant section. So for, you know, those last few days I did a mix of hard quant questions and hard uh, verbal questions and did as many as I possibly could, made sure I read through all of the solutions for any questions that I got wrong and made sure that I understood why I got every question right that I did. Um, so, you know, I, I did end up getting the goal score that I wanted. Um, I think TTP was a critical part of that. If I had any recommendations to give to others, I would say, you know, definitely give TTP a chance. At least give the, you know, the one week free trial a chance. You have absolutely nothing to lose. Um, it'll, like I said, it'll help you understand what content there is. Um, there's a diagnostic test that you can take to baseline your skills, where you're at and where you want to be. You know, they create custom study plans based on the score target that you have. Um, and just like I said, so many practice questions that you can get through even in, in those five days. Um, I think there's, there's a lot that you can gain just from trying it out. And I think if you really do put in the time during that free week, you're going to realize that if you're serious about scoring high on the GMAT, you are going to want to go and at least go pay for a month. You know, I think my personal experience is probably pretty accelerated compared to most, um, from when I started 
studying for the GMAT to when I took the GMAT. It was about five weeks in total, um, and I was able to get a 760 score. And I think if anyone puts in the time and the dedication and uses the resources at hand, in this case TTP, and those practice tests in particular, um, you know, anyone is capable of achieving those scores. Thank you.